um, common lines that we, we have in, 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 hair, in hairstyles. We have rounded. When you have rounded like that, it's just like I explained it. You pull the hair and it's like it's turning, cut it round. I just explained to you the triangular shape too. You just incline or decline your finger, the angle of your finger or elevation in case of mullets. So mullets are triangular shapes where it's short to long, short to long, short to long. Mullets are most likely shorter here and longer here, right? That's our mullets. So if we, ele you guys can see here, everybody? If we take our section, so one straight, and then from the occipital down, we elevate, you guys will understand about elevation later on, okay? If you elevate the hair, you see, the hair came from its natural direction. I elevate over 90 degrees, and if I cut, when I leave this hair, when I, left, when I cut and I leave this hair drop, it's going to drop longer. So that's a triangular shape. Here, this is really important right now. Pay attention. This hair grow right there, right? If I cut, round shape right there. If I wanted to create a square shape and I bring all those three together and cut here, the hair from here travel too much to the center. The center will be short and the, when I cut it, let's say I cut Cut it here. When I cut it, this length will be much longer because it has a long way traveled to the center. So what's going to happen? The center will be shorter and the corners will be longer. That's not a square shape because you brought the hair to the center. And the, the center will be shorter. He will be longer. This is a triangular shape here. Triangle is not a pompadour, not just like this. You can do like a concave layers that it becomes a triangular shape. Shorter in the center and longer on the corners here. So if I cut this first, this hair is coming straight from its natural direction. Okay, if I cut this first, good. And then I grab a little tiny bit of this guide and I bring it. Now, This is my guide already, I cut it already. And then I bring all of them together and I cut it. This is a square shape because this hair didn't travel all the way from the corner to here. It came straight from its natural direction, but my finger, my angle is very square. Okay, once the hair travels from its natural direction, it's always creating something else. If I cut the hair, it's traveling too much. When this piece comes back, so its natural growth direction, it's longer than the one on the center. If is that the shape you want to create, bring everything to the center, cut it, and you're gonna see the corners longer, heavier. Before we cut, we need to see where the hair is coming from. Because it, once you cut and leave and let it go, mm -hmm. oh, I create something else. I didn't want that. I didn't want too, too much hair here on the corners. So uh, even minor consistent air ups and minor inconsistent uh, consistencies all over the head will create a inconsistent haircut. Sometimes later today what we're gonna do we're gonna take a small sections here we're gonna take one section cut another section cutting following that following following that length. If you pull the, the hair even if a small difference and I bring this over to the center I over direct this hair. When it comes to here, if you want a square shape and you start bringing everything to here, it 
it's a, a small difference, but at the end, it makes a huge difference. And then you start bringing everything to here. At the end, you end up with something that you didn't want. OK? Smaller sections, not following. The consistent is not going to help with the following uh, consistent length.